Hey guys, I am really excited to film this video because a lot of you ask me this from time to time. Hey Brie, I am dieting, I'm working out but my weight is not moving so what's happening? I of course don't know your specific diet and workout routine or your conditions so I may not be able to pinpoint exactly why but in the past I have made some mistakes which have slowed down my weight loss. So using my own personal experience I wanted to share with you five reasons why you're not able to lose weight and for those of you who are new here and you don't know me my name is Brie and I lost about 100 pounds which is 40 kgs in a year going from this to this and I am here to share all of my learnings during the process with you. Before I get started guys please subscribe to my channel I am hoping to reach 2000 subscribers in June and your subscribe will get me one step closer and also don't forget to click the notification bell because that will notify you every time I post a new video. with the five reasons why you're not losing weight I want to talk a little bit about the basic fundamental science of weight loss which applies to most of us unless you have a metabolic disease or any other underlying condition which impacts weight loss the fact that weight loss is ultimately a calorie game applies to most of us and what I mean by that is if you are consistently eating more calories than you are burning, you are likely to gain weight. If you are consistently consuming the same amount of calories that you are burning, you are likely to remain at the same weight. And, and of course, if you are consuming lesser calories than you are burning, you are going to be in weight loss state. While that sounds fairly simple, it gets a little bit more complicated in real life because of all the different challenges and situations and mental states that uh, life throws at us and we're unable to sort of navigate navigate it easily. So just keep that in mind as I get into the five reasons. So the first reason why you are not losing weight is because you are eating too much. Now this can be looked at in two different ways. The first one is that you just simply don't know how many calories you're consuming in a day. The easiest way to understand what your calorie requirement is if your goal is weight loss uh, is go back to my previous video where I show you how you can make your own diet plan. There is a simple tool that you can use to calculate your calorie requirement and then you can start tracking your daily intake on any meal tracking app to understand what your calorie intake is. That is the first step to making sure that you're not eating too much. The second way you can look at this is that maybe you are already on a diet and you are doing really well on day one day two day three and day four but when it comes to day five you kind of feel a little down and hungry and a little demotivated because you've kind of had this radical shift in how you're eating um, so you kind of just go all out and you eat something which is highly calorific the calories from that high calorie meal also add up so net net you are not in as much of a deficit as you think you are are. Um, so if you continue to have this back and forth where you go for a few days following a diet on the third day or on the fifth day you kind of crash and you eat something which is highly calorific you are not creating the kind of calorie deficit that you should in order to reach your goals so keep that in mind there is an element of consistency that's needed here where you are consistently eating lesser calories than you are burning only then will you see the scale moving the second reason is that you could be eating too less again here there are two ways of looking at it one is that you go on a crash diet and you go on an intense deficit of calories for a week or two weeks or even a month and you may see some surprising results you've lost about four to five kgs and everything seems great but unfortunately what tends to happen here is because we've deprived our body so much for a month by the end of it you are so tired you have depleted all of your store of motivation and your body is just so hungry that you will crash and then you start to eat normally again and because you have missed food for so long you tend to overcompensate and you actually eat more than what you usually would and so you not only end up gaining back all of the weight that you lost but you will also probably put on a little bit more weight this is why crash diets don't work they work for a shorter amount of time but it's not sustainable and you're unable to hold on to those results that you saw the other way of looking at this is that the lesser calories you consume for a longer period of time if you eat too little your body is going to go into starvation mode whether starvation mode is real or not is debatable but there is some science behind this and I'm going to read it out to you because it's explained beautifully in this article what it says is that what people generally refer to as starvation mode is your body's natural response to long-term calorie restriction 
It involves the body responding to a reduced calorie intake by reducing calorie expenditure to maintain energy balance. If you are consuming very few calories for a longer period of time, your body is also going to expend fewer calories. So you're really not going to see the kind of weight loss that you are expecting. This may also lead to you feeling hungrier, lazier and increased food cravings and causes that bounce back that I was talking about earlier where there's a high chance that you may get back to your old ways and then gain all the weight back if not more. The third reason why you're not losing weight is a combination of the first two points that I mentioned and that's just not having consistency in your approach to weight loss. We can all relate to this I think where we've approached multiple dietitians. Our weight loss journey has been something that we've been pursuing for five to six years now if not more. We've tried different things um, and ultimately we've seen the scale move up and down but we've not been able to hold on to that weight loss for a longer period of time. That's because what we are really lacking is a consistency in our effort. Instead of doing something super intense, the results of which last for like 2-3 months and then once you go back to your normal way of life, you gain back all the weight, a better way to do it is to find something which is sustainable for you that you'll be able to hold on to for a longer period of time. Trust me, the slower your weight loss is, the more likely you are to keep off the weight as opposed to gaining it back. Another way to look at this is your goals should not be I want to lose 5 kgs for that wedding next month. Rather, say, I want to fix the eating habits that are hurting me and over the course of this year, I would like to come to a healthy weight of whatever. Instead of creating an intense calorie deficit just by dieting alone where you pretty much are starving yourself, try to create some of your deficit through diet and try to create the rest of it through workout. I would always recommend a combination of both consistently for a longer period of time. It is something that is more sustainable and can work for you in keeping the weight off. The fourth reason why you're not losing weight has to do with other aspects of your lifestyle. If you are stressed out, if you have an erratic sleep schedule, if you go out very often in the week, you're creating a lot of opportunities for your diet to go out the window. If you are super stressed out in your job or in your personal life, you may be creating opportunities to binge eat or emotionally eat or stress eat. If you have an erratic sleep schedule, you may skip breakfast, you may eat a majority of your calories in the evening, you have a tendency to eat later in the night. If you go out very often, if you are traveling almost every other week, it can get challenging for you to find diet friendly food wherever you are. So I always advise the people who ask me to try to monitor other elements of their lifestyle as well. You may have heard this a million times and it's only because it's true. Weight loss is not really about weight loss. It's a lifestyle change and it's one that takes a lot of time to adapt to because you need to find something that fits you where you will be allowed to pursue your travel, going out with your friends once a week. So accommodating all of that in a reasonable way while at the same time losing weight is definitely challenging. So there is definitely an element of adjustment but it's all because you're trying to fix something that really matters to you so I hope that you're able to remember your why and push past it. The last reason why you are not losing weight is not because you're not losing weight. It's just your expectations versus the reality. Let's say you lose your first 5 kgs in a month. You lose your next 5 kgs in the next month. But if you keep going like that, you're going to lose, what, 60 kgs a year? The math doesn't work like that. The pace at which you lost weight initially will not be the pace at which you continue to lose the weight. So have realistic expectations about your weight loss. If you are losing 1 to 2 kgs a month, that is a very safe way to go about it. Try to understand that it will not always be the same. It's an up and down journey. So long as you're showing slow and steady progress month on month, that's okay. Now you might say, but I haven't lost weight in the last three weeks. I'm demotivated. Your job at that time, your duty is to just keep pushing. If you know that you are within your calorie limit, you are working out and you're doing everything right and the scale hasn't moved for about two to three weeks, the only thing you need to do at that time is not give up and just keep going because I guarantee you, if you're doing everything right, the weight will move. As you get closer to your goal weight, the weight loss is going to slow down. So be patient and trust the process and believe me, you will get to where you want to be. Guys, that is the end of my video. I hope this was helpful to you in understanding where you may be missing out and why you're not able to lose weight. I am very excited for all the other videos I have planned for you. I hope you stay subscribed to my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye.